An in vitro selection experiment is like finding a needle in the haystack. My name is Claudia Hübartner. I work at the University of Würzburg at the Institute of Organic Chemistry. Our research is focused on nucleic acids. What makes nucleic acids special is the information content that they have. When we try to understand their functions and explore in the laboratory which new function we can generate. And for this, we use a procedure called in vitro selection. In vitro selection means that we start from a random library of sequences of RNA and DNA and identify those with a special property. Applications for these new tools we find in the direction of diagnostic applications. We can think in the direction of potentially even using them in cells to manipulate RNA. And this may even in the future lead us to develop in therapeutic applications or drug-like applications. One of the most exciting results that we achieved in the recent years was the discovery of the first methyltransferase ribozyme. The methyltransferase ribozyme installs a tiny little chemical modification on RNA. This decoration is used in nature to expand the functions of RNA. The exchange between different disciplines is the driving force for new insights. From their different experiences, we can together solve the questions and develop new tools for biology. Really exciting times are when students come to me with an unexpected result, and then we try to solve it together. And this usually is not only a one-to-one -one endeavor, but we require more people. We come together as a team and try to solve the question that the experiment gives to us. So my advice for young scientists is to follow their curiosity and to explore many different fields and ask questions in many different directions. And not to get discouraged by an experiment that doesn't give the expected result in the first glance. Being named as the winner of this Hansen Family Award was a big surprise and it's a great honor. Our next goal is to find new ribozymes to use them in the cellular environment in order to label RNAs, to track them and to find new applications in the cell. <laughs>